Hello and welcome to a uh, Sims 3 Let's Play Targaryen special. So um, it's kind of been a bit of an idea for mine to take one of my favourite TV shows, build the characters, create the world and just have some fun playing with them really. And um, my favourite TV show pretty much of all time or at least the one that's kind of kept my attention for the last four seasons even if the last season did annoy me quite significantly um, has been Game of Thrones so and to start it all off we've got the Targaryen family um, I've kind of gone for season one Targaryen family and but first off uh, just talking about the town uh, this is a uh, Dragon Valley it's from the Sims 3 store it's about $20 for standard, $35 for gold, which in pound sterling it is roughly, yeah, I kind of checked, it's slightly more um, in pound sterling but that's the joys of being British, sorry about my voice, it sounds really really croaky at the minute but um, it was £22 for gold and £12 something for standard Anyway, so here it is. This is, I got it in gold, so we have something called Celtic Lands as well. And I got it in gold just to get the extra sim points so I could buy Tudor stuff. Yay. Nerd out time. But yeah, so this is the town. Um, all of the actual families that come with the set have been removed from this particular neighbourhood. Only because I want to... Um, fill it up with just Game of Thrones characters but we only have one family so far and that is the Targaryen family and let's just give you a quick introduction to all the characters first off we have Daenerys Targaryen rocking out there she looks a little bit at grumpy in Dothraki-esque Sims free gear the uh, the hair is custom content, I'm not too sure from where, the skin custom content, once again I'm not too sure from where. Um, I've used my sister's account and she just gets the content from the exchange, she's just currently glaring at a wall. But um, the top is actually from the Dragon Valley expansion and the skirt's just general base game and the shoes I think are custom content and I kind of need to swap them over because they don't fit her thighs. She's, yeah. But yeah, this is Daenerys. Her traits are family orientated, hot headed, good, hopeless romantic, and charismatic. And when I remember to buy them, this is, I'll go back on, I'll go into this in a minute. But once I finish introducing every, <laughs> sorry, introducing everybody. Our next character is Carl Drogo. Carl Drogo. He's currently just. Derpin, bless him, there. He's unflirty, brave, hot-headed, hopeless romantic, and he's an equestrian. He likes his horses. And unfortunately, um, well, sorry, this comes also from the exp uh, Dragon Valley expansion, and the trousers, are not too sure if they're custom content, or they're from one of the expansion packs, and it's just regular shoes. <coughs> Sorry, excuse my coffin. I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. Yay, so there his um unfortunately I couldn't get him to be topless in his everyday gear. But in his athletic and sleepwear and swimwear, he, he he's got his torso out. Lucky us. And this Che like cheery looking guy over here is Viserys. His um, skin is the same custom content as Daenerys. He's also got contact lenses in, giving him that violet Targaryen eye look. He's currently wearing chainmail and a tunic, even which is from I uh, don't know if it's from this expansion or it's from the Tudors expansion. You might just have to check that. But he looks a little bit hot and Flustered. We are currently not in the uh, Dothraki Sea. We're currently just hanging around Westeros slash Pentos. 
but he's looking a little bit toasty in there and a little bit grumpy. Um, his traits are he hates the outdoors, he's insane, he's family orientated, hot headed and mean spirited. I feel guilty not being able to give him some more positive traits. Um, I understand from Viserys' story he's had a very unhappy childhood and it's a very very sad story uh his one very tragic how it ends as well spoiler spoiler but um seriously it's a season one spoiler i'm surprised if it's still spoiler to anyone really but he has a really tragic story and tragic end to the story so i feel kind of guilty but i'm just playing him as season one really we have um doria um, if people who oh, damn it, people who've read the books and watched the TV series know that Doria in uh, the TV series has a different end to Doria in the book, she's just here to act as a handmaiden and as a kind of girlfriend to Viserys. She is currently, I think she's still his girlfriend. I saw her, f yeah, I saw her flirting with um, Jorah before. Um, <coughs> I started filming so I didn't know if they'd broken up yet she is her traits are she's a supernatural fan she loves dragons and stuff she's sorry my voice is really going at the minute flirty great kisser neat and she's a natural cook she's basically a handmaiden and <coughs> one second I'm gonna have to cough Sorry about that, I'm really losing my voice. I think I must be coming down with a cold or something. I'll try and keep this video short so you don't have to hear me croaking. But she's currently wearing a dress that comes with the Dragon Valley expansion. And boots, custom content, and the same as um, Daenerys. Daenerys is. We have, oh, behind the horse is Jorah Mormont. He's wearing a similar knight's outfit to uh, Viserys. You may notice the uh, attractive uh, hand hair. Uh, we've kind of, I kind of decided to go for book Jorah moment, and he's described as bless him. He's kind of hairy everywhere apart from his head, where he's slightly bald in. But here he is, dressed in pretty much standard knight's gear like Viserys but he too is toasting quite a lot and here is Daenerys's iconic white horse um I don't think the horse actually is given a name in the uh anywhere in the series but I kind of named her Snowy because she's kind of white and snowy sorry I'm gonna have to cough again <coughs> Ugh, um, at least I'm not breathing my germs down your face. So yeah, this is the Targaryen family and let's show you their house quickly. This looks really, really like a place where a Dothraki would live. No, they wouldn't. They'd live out in like tents on the grass. Um, although Khal uh, Drogo does have a mansion in within Pentos. Uh, it's kind of built in a bit of a Westerosi style. We've kind of <coughs> very much built around uh, sigils and quite bright, very, very bright. Oh, we have chamber pot. That's pretty awesome. Uh, night curtains. We however, do have a gym. Ooh, beautiful dining table for entertaining our guests at various weddings and other do's. You need good space for them, and good space and good audio f um, for the uh, band. And the living room. We've kind of gone for a little bit, added a little bit of Dothraki charm here with some horses and some saddles. But yes. And also round the back horse stable and just jumping stuff so yes so the aim of the game for this is just to let them play and just play with them film whilst I'm playing them and see what kind of misadventures they can all get up to 
And this is The Sims, so it's pretty much certain that they're going to come up to misadventures. There he is. But yes, Daenerys. And to start it all off, one very cool feature about um, Dragon Valley, and it kind of comes from the name, is that you can buy dragons. Yay! There's like three different types. I'm going to put them down here. And we have to leave them for a few hours and then they hatch. So, how many hours have we got? She's going to go and talk to it. Let's go and tell it about our friends. Viserys, however, is going to go and talk to him about his enemies. Oh. Are they waking up? <laughs> it said earlier how long they take. Oh, five hours. Viserys is playing with that dragon egg. He's got a really deep voice. Now he's bored. I guess Khal Drogo is not coming up with this army quick enough for him. But Daenerys does love her husband. They've kind of got used to each other now. And... Oh. He's... Her sun and stars and he's... And she sees moon. Sorry, Deck, I've probably got that really wrong. Is it moon of my life? Shirak, me Shirak. I uh, I need to practice my Dothraki. Oh, Dory is just casually watching this. Like this is really cute. Me and Viserys. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Is everyone getting hungry yet? I'm just going. She can start. Oh, we can have brunch. You can go make some waffles for everyone. Fortunately, poor thing is the handmaid. Aww. Viserys is just grumpily staring at the fire. Which reminds me. Did I... Switch? I can't remember if I switched autonomy back on. Nope, I didn't. Oops, that's probably why they're not doing anything other than just staring at each other. I might also make the lunar cycle a bit longer. And I'm going to... What was the other thing? Oh yes, turn it to epic, just to, to keep them all vaguely alive for a bit longer. Oh, he wants to talk about job, but he hasn't got one yet. That's I think that's where we can start off. So let's have a quick look at the town whilst we're waiting for the dragon eggs to pop. And um, we have the... This is the spa. Oh, that's really beautiful. It looks kind of like an old kind of monastery-esque building. Then this is the first time I'm exploring it, so this is quite exciting only downloaded it today. This is the theatre, so they've obviously gone for quite the globe effect. And we have here the police station and the military. It's like the watchtower. We have the art gallery. Uh, the kind of science-y, kind of alchemy-esque building. Just zoom out a second. We've got the gym. It just looks like kind of normal building. Bookshop. Is this the main town? Do we actually have people in here? I swear I like deleted everyone. Oh, maybe the O'Connell family survived my call. I better invite them to a wedding just in case. This is City Hall and 
that's the book sh wait that's the bookshop that's the library no bad and have we got like a graveyard and stuff oh we have a dragon tavern just more houses i'm seeing how this goes with this game and then i'm going to see how um about adding more Game of Thrones families. My sister's done it before, but she hasn't done it on this town. She's done it all like a circus or like that. Oh, it's a tawny. Nice. But she, and there's a pub. That's, I quite like that. And yeah, here's the cemetery, community garden. Oh, that's nice. Everyone can kind of grow together. Like old Terry peasants would have done. And here's the graveyard. Oh, this is cool. They got um new kind of grave stones. I'd I'd think this is cool, like add on. But kind of Celtic esque. Kind of yeah. And I do love the church. That's really pretty. It's not really churches, it's a mausoleum. But it's very pretty. It's a beautiful town. I'm actually really in love with it. I think it's gonna, it's creeping up my favourites list. Uh, Moonlight Falls, about hanging there. You know, is that another person? It's a casual firefighter person. Jonah Bobo, no idea. But yes, time wish is to become leader of the free world. She really wants to like ban slavery and stuff. But she Yeah. But she needs to actually join the politics career. Daria's lifetime trait is to be a heartbreaker sim. She wants to date ten other sims and break their hearts. I think, and poor the oh, poor horse has just been left in there. He wants to have the saddle taken off. Carl Drogo wants to be a, the jockey. He wants to uh, master the riding skill and win and earn forty thousand simlians. And Jora, Jora, he just wants a generic job in the military. But secretly, he wants a uh, Daenerys Targaryen to give him the time of day. He'll just sit here reading an old tome about the knights of Westeros. He kind of gave them uh, to Daenerys as a present for her wedding. But she hasn't really picked them up yet. Not She doesn't seem bothered by it, but he's kind of bothered. She's going to go and play with the eggs for a little bit. She wants to plot against her enemies. I guess she's been hanging around with Viserys for too long. All them people in Westeros having fun on your lands and in your castle. Well, how long have we got to the dragon's hatch? 57 minutes. Oh, Daenerys, you better play with them for a little bit so that we can watch them hatch. Let's converse about exis existentialism. Yeah, that seems like a good topic to keep you busy for at least an hour. Oh, hey, Daria. What are you up to? You want to flirt with Jorah? I think you're after a lost cause, Dad, but go for it. Oh, Daenerys is upset. I think it's more because uh, Daria is her brother's girlfriend on here rather than like she's upset with him flirting with her best friend. Come on, let's talk to the egg for a little bit. We've only got a few more minutes left. <gasps> it's about to hatch. I'm trying to get a good camera angle so that we can actually see it hatch. Oh. How many, how long have we got? One minute, zero minutes. Oh, oh, it's rolling. Oh, it's a little red dragon. 
Oh, Viserys. Come on, go and feed it. Are Daenerys' ones going? Oh, it's a little green one. And she's just queuing over this little one. Go, carry him. Viserys is just casually going off with the red one. These Targaryens do love their dragons. I do hope the dragons though don't set fire to anything. Daenerys. Carry the green dragon. You don't want Doria to... Oh no. Doria's already got in there. This one's still got a couple hours to hatch. But oh, Daenerys is playing with this one. Cast Fiery Torment on Doria. What happens then? I think this is the specific thing with the different colours. Red tends to be a bit more of a vengeful. Oh, Daria. Hey, Daenerys. How's things going? Let's just casually set the dragon on you. Oh, no. Daria's on fire. Oh. Oh, no. Daria survived. This this is awkward. Let's see what happens when you shoot a fireball at Daria. Stop flirting with Jora. Yeah, yeah, let's set her on fire. That 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 seemed like a good idea. Yeah. Hey Daria, sorry about almost setting you on fire earlier. God, these dragons are really hard to tame. Oh no, it's happening again. Oh dear, no, bad dragon, bad. Doria, no, you're naked now. Doria, gosh, gosh. Doria, go put... Oh, the dragon eggs are about to hatch. What colour are we going to get now? Fingers crossed purple. And what can you do with a green dragon? Oh, yeah, green dragons. You can get treasure and harvest plants. I... Yes, it's hatching, it's hatching. And yes, we got... Is that purple? Is yeah, it's purple. We got one of each. Right, we're going to name this one Rhaegal. Then we're going to, yeah, be the life of the party. Oh no. What's, what, what's everyone shaking? Wow, he managed to summon treasure. Well done. Can we actually collect it? Collect. How much is it? 251. Well done. Admittedly, I kind of, they're very, very rich because I cheated. But like, if they weren't rich, that would have been really useful. But yes, Daenerys does love her vengeful little baby. Let's feed him. Yeah. Would you like some food, little guy? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Wow, this mother of dragons is really having a hell of a time. Let's go and grab something to eat. And Viserys in all of this is using the chamber pot. Let's see how a chamber pot works. I do hope there is no peasants underneath there. That could be kind of useful. Um, awkward.
Oh wow, a flushing chamber pot. Oh, dang, Davit. Doria, go and put some clothes on. Stop playing with Jora. Wish well, she's not having the barbecue tray anymore. And Carl Drogo is out riding Snowy Targaryen. Kind of trying to master the riding skill there. Okay, so here's where we leave the episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll get some more up. See how things go with the dragons. She went to the toilet? Yeah. Kind of takes away the magic when you see him needing to go to the toilet. Anyway. She, oh, she's got the purple dragon and Jora is the green dragon. So. Oh no. So I'm going to... To so stop the game now and it was really great chatting to you so hopefully uh, there'll be a new episode up soon but keep just watching the channel and stuff and hopefully see you around bye